around round number 13. It's time for round number 12. And as a result, you're going to see Carsten Linden and Tony Ramis Pasquale uh, facing off. We've seen Tony Ramis Pasquale already get it done with Tron throughout the tournament here. Carsten Linden with a mystery rain for us. Ooh, could be anything. Could be Infect. Could be Bad Spirits. What are we looking at here, do you think? Um... Are you asking me for a guess or uh, for a deck list? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you like. Whatever you like, my friend. I think it's spirits here. Uh, I, I would say it's spirit as well. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. my guess. Yeah, that's that's my uh, my guess as well. After no, not knowing there. anything, not knowing anything without the deck list that without I, the deck I have list. just in front of me. Yeah, I would say spirits. without even looking at the screen. I'm not even looking at the screen right now, but I say spirits. I'm going to look back. Oh, Hallowed Fountain. I'm the smartest person in the world. All right, here we go with. Uh, Alvaro Sanchez Lopez already having won his game against Florian Koch here. And uh, Linden and Ramis Pasquale locked up at 1-1. One one. Looks like Andreas Guns has got up against Daniel Balliston on the back table. On a slower one. Balliston on white-blue control. Unsurprising that that was a little bit of a slower game. But game number three between these two. Going to kick things off with a selfless spirit now is Linden. Committing to the board for the first time. Oh, look at this. Tower, mine, power plant. Turn three. Easy. Thank you. Easy. Sylvan Scrying helping, of course, in that regard. But now, Natural Tron. And, of course, Natural Karn. they've always got it. Always got the Karn on turn three. Away goes the Selfless Spirit. Of course, that should be Exile. Oh, no, no, he sacrificed it. Okay, that makes sense. Keep it in the graveyard rather than going to the Exile Zone. For extra value. Yeah, I don't think there's anything that takes uh, advantage of that. And now, with Karn... Well and truly active as early as turn three. It's going to be a very, very difficult thing for Carsten and Linden to get up and about here. Tony Ramos Pasquale show, showcasing the power of the Tron deck with the turn three Khan. Here's an expedition map. That can go and get another tower and add even more mana here for Pasquale. Or forest. If uh, it's cast like an Ancient Stirrings or something. Yeah, sure. Well, maybe it's going to meet a Spell Squeller. A Spell Squeller. Yes, indeed it is. Good call, Raph. Horizon Canopy costing uh, Linden another point of life here down to 18 as Spellqueller eats up that expedition map. Spellqueller loses a lot of value against Tron, seeing as most of its hard-eating heavyweights are 6, 7, 8 mana. Now uh, Tony is uh, free to play uh, the Oblivion Ring. Oblivion, Oblivion Stone, sorry. Mm -hmm. Not Oblivion Ring. That's not, that's, not in the, that's not in the deck. No, it's not in the deck. Oblivion Stone, however. Yes. So Khan goes upstairs, and uh, Linden has to exile a card from his hand. Let's have a look at the choice that he makes here. Obviously picking between a few by the look of things. It's going to be Reflector Mage. How many times have you seen a Khan restart a game? I think it's about less than... Less than 20. Less than 20, yeah. yeah. yeah I, I'm, I'm like fewer than five, I think. I've never seen it that... I, that it doesn't, you just concede. You concede so, so, so many times before it actually get to... 15,000 loyalty or whatever they need for the activation there. And an O-Stone now coming down as well. It's pretty good here because uh, and with the second tower yeah. second tower, the stone can end of turn uh, put a, a fate counter yep. on Khan yep. and then uh, blow the whole, the whole world up. Yep. yep. Uh, yeah, uh, it's going to be very difficult for Carsten Linden to overcome this. <laughs> turn 3 Tron is, uh, is a real beating any day of the week. Monday, huge beating. Tuesday, Tuesday, just as big a beating. Wednesday, also. How about Saturday? Beating. Saturday is probably where it's one of the biggest beatings of all time, but Sunday is where you really don't want to get a beat, get beaten by turn three Tron. Especially on, on day two of the especially, GP. Especially day two of the Yeah, GP. Monday, Tuesday, it doesn't matter. I guess it isn't on any day. It is, it is on Sunday, it's probably worse. It's probably a, a biggest, the big, biggest beating on average on Sunday. So I, I take back my original <laughs> statement. I apologize. I withdraw. My statement. It started as a, as a joke, but in the end, it was a very it was very real. Oh yes, yes, and so I withdraw. I'd like to apologise for what I said. It is not an equally large beating on any day of the week. Could be said about pretty much anything magic related. If you lose to something, it's probably worse on Sunday. Yeah, pr probably Sunday is the worst day to be beaten by anything on average. Monster Goblin Raiders or uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, doesn't matter. Sunday, the worst day to lose at Magic. Unless you Garfield the cat. And then it's Monday. Spellqueller gets busy. 
a fate counter put on the Khan Liberated, as you mentioned. It's not a loyalty counter. Got seven of those. Seven loyalty. So loyal. So humble. And now Phantasmal Image gets eaten up by the voracious Planeswalker. And if you start again, you can't copy the Reflector Mage. Oh, because they enter the battlefield at the same time? Yeah. So it's kind of like giving you a, giving the opposing card like a, a counter spell or something. Here's a Worm Coil Engine. This one's going to do some good work here. Carsten Linden may respond by the look of things with a Collected Company. Oh, that is Buck Wild. Collected Company in German looks to be a, a real uh, a real treat. <laughs> let's like, have a look. Like let's, let's, let's see what we're working with. Oh, yeah. The best one, of course, being uh, Wildner Cattle in German is just Wilderner Cattle. But in German, it is Truppensammlung. Troop collection. No. I tell a lie. The best German card, beyond a doubt, is Grafted War Gear. It is Aufgepropfte Kriegsausrüstung. I remember, like, how, how about Hecatomb? I don't know, for some reason... Which one? Hecatomb. For some reason, I have this card in head. In head in okay. How do you even spell that? H-E-C-A-T-O-M-B. Hecker Tomb. Yeah. I've never heard of this card. Oh, there's no K. Right. Oh, this is an ancient card. Ancient, ancient card. It doesn't have a string. No, I don't know, I don't know what German it is in name. German. Not sure what that is in German. In any case, this game is... Uh, yeah, there's not too much to discuss in the game. The game, <laughs> the game is effectively over here. Like, <laughs> Tron is just crushing, absolutely crushing it here. So we can instead talk about humorous magic card names, such as the best one in French... Uh, but did the news? No, 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 no. Shriek more. Ah, uh, Korgel. No, no. Urlegul. 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 Uh, Here's another Truppensammlung here, as the uh, oh. the company once oh, again collects if he, itself. If he finds, if he finds a restless, um, a selfless spirit. A selfless spirit. Th this game is not. Ooh. It's not over. That's why maybe he should have. Uh, Pulling up the oblivion, sto the oblivion stone on his turn, or right after the collected company. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In response to it. Perhaps even. No. Everybody's gone. Well, it's not no going to be enough. Spirit. All right. Away they go, and now we've got the two worm tokens, life link and uh, and death touch, of course, there. And can't liberated loses his fate counter, but is still sticking around. So this one's looking very good for Tony Remis Pasquale. And with Alvaro Sanchez Lopez already having won his match. Choose life or death. I very, uh, very swiftly anticipated into this game. And indeed, this match. Carsten Linden fought bravely. But the turn three can't. Too much for him to overcome. Here's an ancient stirrings as well. Tron hasn't really had its plan game plan disrupted. Oh, and, a, and a, a walking ballista as well. Can cast that for half a billion. And ding Linden for half a squillion. It could have been quite a beating. The Cephalus Spirit. Yeah. Yeah, it would have turned things around a little bit, but uh, as it goes, instead, it's just a walking ballista for 500,000 and an expedition map. And, I, I mean, what is there that Carson Linden can do here? Dead in the water, I would say. But we will see. Another one. Another Truppensammlung. Another collected company. And, and there's a Cephal Spirit. Report. The boys are back in town. Here is Reflector Mage. Target the uh, walking ballista. No, and I a spell quiller as well. No, I think... Isn't... He, I mean, he pointed at the walking ballista. Yeah, Maybe yeah, he's going yeah. after one. No, no, there it is. Okay. All right. So, six damage upstairs. Linden down to three. I think five upstairs. Was six. Sorry, five, excuse me. And then we have, of course, the... Uh, Tokens getting in, getting busy, and that is the end of it there. Linden going down to Tony Ramis Pasquale. That's that for this round, my friends. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back with more live magic. Tim and Frank at the helm, so stick around. We'll be back after this. <laughs> 